The vibe is so different in my room. I feel so like low energy. What up? Welcome uh, to the DIY designer. I'm gonna do that again. <laughs> I'm very saliva-y. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome, uh, welcome to my channel. My name's Orly. If you've never been here, today's gonna be a slightly different video. Normally I do really cool fashion DIYs. Today it's almost a fashion DIY, but really it's more of a styling video. So one of the things I always have people ask me is how to style a blanket scarf. It's like one of those obvious easy ones in my mind, but I realize people are just sort of wearing them the same one or two ways, and I am not one of those people. I wear my blanket scarf like 30 different ways. It's ridiculous. So today I'm going to show you all the different ways that you can style your own blanket scarf when you already own, um, or you can go out and snag one. I got this one this weekend at H&M. It was like 12 bucks. So they're not expensive. Um, you just want to make sure you get one of those big ones. You don't want a skinny scarf. You want a nice, big, hefty blanket scarf. They're great for traveling and they're super versatile. So I'm going to show you today, not only all the ways that you can style them as an actual blanket scarf, but then also how you can make skirts, short skirts, long skirts, asymmetrical skirts, dresses. There's so many things you can do with this one piece. I'm gonna do the whole thing here in my bedroom um, and I'm actually gonna do it into the mirror. That way like I can sh see what I'm doing and show you what I'm doing and talk through it. I'm dying to know what your favorite one is or which one you think you might actually do. So let me know in the comment section. And to those of you that are new, I'm so happy you're here. I hope that you guys will subscribe to the channel. Um, like I said, I do really fun fashion stuff, sometimes styling segments like this, but most of the time really killer DIYs and next week's is bananas. Um, okay, let's do it. There's no material shot because it's just this, materials. All righty, here is our blanket scarf. Now, this is about as narrow as you wanna go for it to be considered a blanket scarf. Uh, this is 36 inches wide. There's a lot of blanket scarves that are actually a complete square and all the same styles are gonna work if that's the one that you have, but you don't want anything narrow like this. That's just a scarf. Um, so this is a big oversized blanket scarf. You can see how long it is. So first one I'm gonna do is one of the easiest and probably one of the most popular. So we're going to take it and you're gonna fold it in half just like this. Put your hand through it, you're gonna grab the other side and wrap it around, okay? So you've got the opening here and the tails here. Now you just put this through the hole. And now, one look is done. Like I said, one of the most consistent, easy ways to do it, it gives you a lot of warmth because all of that volume is sort of bundled up right here around your neck. So this is really great when you actually need it for warmth. This is also really nice to do when you're wearing a coat because it doesn't get, it doesn't like get in the way. The coat can come right under here and it just keeps it all really nice and simple. That's it. This next one I love when I feel like my outfit is kind of lame or boring because it sort of covers up the whole thing. So what you're gonna do is, again, here's our scarf, the length going the other way. I like to take it by the corner. So don't use the flat sort of squared off edge, use it by the corner and it almost puts everything on the bias so it lays really well. So now what I'm gonna do is take this piece and lay it in front just like this. Now we're gonna wrap this around but you wanna make sure to really keep all the volume. You don't wanna wrap it tight like that. So you want to make sure to kind of like drape it. So you're going to take it like this, take that other corner and wrap it around. So you've got your two tails here. And now you really want to fluff this out. You want this part to be really big again. So it almost like hides the whole outfit. So this is great when you're wearing just like jeans and a t-shirt, you feel kind of boring. It sort of adds like, you know, another detail to that outfit. Now there's a few variations for this. One is this, right? Just as is. The other is tying these two little pieces and you kind of get this little knot right here in the front the other is pulling it a little bit tighter and then you've got these pieces hanging down longer and this is going to give you a little bit more warmth on the top again because it's like kind of cozier to your neck three different versions kind of of the same style so here's one style again i've pulled my two tails sort of long i've got this really cozy up on my neck and again they're points which lets them sort of fall and hang in a much better way. So you can see, obviously, it gives you all of that volume. So this is something that, again, I like to wear um, when I wanna like really add a lot to my outfit because it's kind of boring. This next one is so simple that I almost don't wanna do it, but 
I'm going to because it's good. Uh, again, I always like to grab it by the corner. I just think the way it lays is better. We are going to let this sucker hang. And by the way, you don't, I like it if you kind of take it and see how it's twisting right here. This like twist I think looks really pretty in the front. You don't have to do that if you want it to go like this, but I just don't, I don't like the way that looks as much. So I like it flat. Now kind of twist it. And you're done. Ooh. Okay, so this is obviously one of the most classic styles when it's just sort of thrown over one shoulder as opposed to wrapping it back around the front. I always think that it gives you a little bit more visual interest from all angles, whereas a lot of the styles really look good from the front, but they just kind of look big and in, you know large and in charge in the back. This gives you sort of a cute back angle and side angle as well, but again, keeps you nice and warm. It's a little bit lighter weight, so this isn't one I would do necessarily during the winter, but definitely during the fall. And it's good. It's a classic. Uh, right, and in another, this is so easy, do I even show it, edition. Next one. Okay, grab it by the corner, find your middle. It looks almost like one of those like draped neck cardigans, so as opposed to hiding these elements in the back and it just being straight, I like to kind of find them and pull them forward. Because now look at, oops, let's get rid of that thread. Now look at all that pretty detail that you have across the front like boom boom it's like a ruffle it's a great one all right it is again it's so simple literally it's just keeping the back of your neck warm and acting more like an accessory but it still looks really great i like also to have it be slightly uneven so i pull one side down longer than the other but really it's all about getting that ruffle in the front so you've got a detail that looks really pretty and then it's just really cozy and simple this also would look really nice over a coat so if you have a long, you know, maybe shin length, like cool sort of like, you know, a wool coat, put this over the outside of it and let it drape like that and it's money. Another very simple version of this one is now just to grab a belt. And this is super cute over like a sweater dress or something like that, but you're gonna kind of encapsulate the whole thing with the belt. You want a little bit of separation. Personally, I like a little separation there. So I'm gonna take it, pull it super tight, now, this is one of those crazy long belts that I found at a thrift store, so I like to take the belt, go under the bottom here, and then pull it through that loop, and now you've kind of got this cool, like, almost western-y, like, tail. And so again, separate it out. Once you get it set, the belt will hold it in place, so take a second here. Again, this looks almost like a little cardigan, which is super cool. You can actually control how those little ruffles and drapes stay because the belt now holds them in place. They can't really move on you. So this is just a really great simple way. Any belt is gonna work. It can be one that hooks in the front. You don't need the tie, but these are always really fun. Uh, it just gives you kind of one more way to wear it. That's what this is about. That's what this video is about. One more way to wear it. Killing it. Ooh. Now we are going to not take it by the corner. We're gonna use the entire thing and just wrap it around you. And what I like to do is, again, start with it being uneven. So this side's gonna be shorter. This is where the full length is. Now we're gonna throw it over the shoulder and there's two ways of doing it. Um, I'll show you first the one that I, I actually don't wear it, but it is a popular one. So you leave it straight like this and you're gonna throw it. Now when this hangs, it almost looks like a poncho. So it's straight across. You can see it kind of hangs down the back. It's great if you're not doing a lot of movement because when your hands are down like this, you know, I kind of like, Mer. once you have it where you want it, you can take like a brooch. So you would go through just like that. And then it will hold it. Not only does it look pretty in the corner, but it will hold it in place. You can really move around a lot and you get again, pretty front and back. What I like to do, start in the same place. I like to take this side and twist it. You can even wrap it twice like that and now throw it. So we've got this sort of asymmetric detail. And again, once you have it in the place that you like, like right here, top and bottom, you can pin it. All right, so a couple of cool details here that I really like. One is obviously the twist. I just think this twist right here is really cool, especially in plaids. You get to see all the different parts of the fabric and all the different sort of colors. 
and even in the back you're just getting a lot, like as the fabric layers on itself, you're getting a lot of really cool different details. This is great, by the way, like for weddings. Like if you're wearing a dress and you're bringing a shawl, instead of just draping it over your shoulders, you can like twist it and wrap it with a really pretty brooch. And it looks like something that's a little bit more like stylized in design and also gives you the opportunity um, for a little bit of like elegance depending on the brooch you use. All right, now there's a couple of styles that you really do need the square blanket scarf for because we wanna make a triangle. And in order to make a triangle, you actually need a square. You can't, you can't create a triangle out of a rectangle. If you have one like I do, fold your um, blanket scarf in half so you get a square. If your blanket scarf is a square, then you're ready to go. Now you're going to fold it again into a triangle, right? So there you go, now we've got our triangle. Now there's a couple different things you can do. First one, would be draping this over the back. So you get this cool little kind of V detail in the back and then just tie it in the front. Now at this point, I think it looks cool to kind of like wrap that guy underneath and this one can stay as a little tail. But you end up with this great little like shrug almost. So it's got a cute V in the back, gives you some nice warmth up front. Um, and that's the end of my story. <laughs> we folded it like this and then this guy just gets kind of tucked underneath you can tuck this one as well if you want hide it but if not I just kind of leave it like that and this is what we were talking about it's pretty the little double fringe detail by stacking it not perfectly in half you get the little like double fringe detail nice warmth it comes up high on the neck money All right, so you are going to go back to a triangle. Again, if your scarf is a square blanket scarf, then you're starting here. If yours is a rectangle like mine, then you're folding it in half once. Now you're folding it in half again. Take the triangle and put the triangle in the center front of your body. Now you're going to take your two tails and crisscross them in the back. So you take those tails that are crisscrossed in the back and now you're just tucking them underneath, kind of hiding them, and you just roll it out. So let's get my hair out of the way. Again, you're kind of like taking the top part, rolling it over with your thumbs, taking the bottom part and tucking everything underneath. Now you've got this really clean, really simple V um, and it's just like a regular handkerchief scarf because you just need to get it into a triangle. So one of the ways that I like wearing this the most is when I'm really in cold weather places, like when we go home to visit New York, over my coat because this so when you're really living in a cold weather place and your scarf is super functional and not just a fashion uh, statement, this is a really good one because it really does act like you can pull it up over your ears. Ridiculous in Southern California, but a whole lot of sense in basically the rest of the country. Um, but it's great. It's super simple. It's super easy. And again, if you've got that big blanket scarf that's a square, your actual triangle might be even longer and come down even larger. I am currently wearing a ridiculous outfit, but that's just because I want to be able to actually show you guys how to wrap this without seeing like my booty. So I'm just wearing a black turtleneck and, and a little pair of shorts. If you want to wear a little skirt underneath your um, scarf, you can do that. But you know, you don't actually need to do it. So here is our scarf. Now I'm gonna wrap it around. Normally what I would do is I would just take one side and I would sort of secure it on my hip right here kind of straighten out because we've got a pattern so you sort of want to work with the pattern and then I would wrap it and let it drape but you can see that I actually have like it's dragging on the floor which I don't want and that's because of the length of the scarf the scarf is really long I could cut it but then I'm limited in all the other ways that I could wear it as a scarf so what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna slide it this way I'm gonna keep sliding and instead of anchoring it on this hip I'm gonna go all the way around the back and anchor it on my other hip. So I'm gonna come all the way around this way and you can see now I've got these two front lines. I'm gonna center those because that looks really nice. Leave it centered, bringing this side all the way around. So again, instead of it just being starting here, it's starting here. And now you wanna pull everything super tight. Pull it tight, pull it tight. And now there's two options. One is if that length is good for you, which you can see I barely have anything dangling on the floor, you can leave it as is. The other option is doing a really pretty drape. So to do that, 
we would start here and kind of grab it. Maybe this is like, I don't know, six inches and like pull that up, like pleat it up. Grab another little one, pleat it up. And now I have this really pretty drape in the front. So I'm going to take this and I'm gonna fold it, this little tab of everything I collected, fold it down. Now, the benefit of wearing something like shorts or a skirt underneath is that actually it's being secured into there, which is kind of nice. But if you don't have that, grab a safety pin. Anytime we're doing this stuff, you guys, you always wanna use the really good quality safety pins. That's like when I did my no sew sequin dress, which I'll link right here above. It was all done with these really good quality safety pins. Okay, so now it's secured. And now I have this really pretty drape all across the front. And if you want, even just for further, you can belt it just to give it, hold it in and give it a little bit more of a final touch. Like that. All right, so this is probably the way that I wear the skirt the most. This is now like a mid calf length almost like a pencil skirt, a really cool wrap plaid skirt, but it has that beautiful detail. So you can see the way that it creates those pleats, not only does it make it look more like a real skirt and not just like a piece of fabric you wrapped around, but it also gathers up some of the length so it's not dragging on the floor. So that's how you can make it custom just based off your particular um, scarf. You know, it's gonna be different for each person. And then the other thing is by centering the plaid in the middle, again, it all looks like it was really custom and it's not just a piece of fabric. Put the belt right on top, it keeps it all super secure. All right, so that was the sort of floor length version. If your scarf is even wider than that, it could have been longer, but now we're gonna move to a short version. So fold it in half lengthwise. So it's full length, but it's just skinnier. I like to adjust the sides so that you can see, I kind of see double the fringe on the bottom there, but you don't have to do that. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're gonna wrap. And in this case, you can leave the full length if you want, because you can see it just barely touches the ground. So I'll actually just slide it a teeny bit more. So I've got my double lines in the front. You can see the back part starts there. Now I'm pulling nice and tight around my waist. And you can either just simply secure it and let it hang like this and it kind of has more of a blunt edge. Or if you want, you can do a couple of those little pleats like we did on the last one, which just softens up the shape a little bit and gives it, it's like almost more falls on the bias, which I am gonna do because I just think that looks pretty. So now we're gonna go in again, always through the backside so that you don't see that pin. Pin it into place and you can like fold the front part back just a scotch so that it sort of has that pretty drape in the front. That's it. Now you have this really cool, short, asymmetric detail, similar to the other style, but a little mini version. Technically it comes together just like the sort of, you know, almost floor length version, but because we folded it in half before you started, you end up with a much more exaggerated asymmetric hem. So you have a really great like mini skirt on one side with a really cool floor length detail on the other, all of that pretty draping in the front. It's just is a great one, especially with like thigh high boots during fall, during winter. Okay, so we're gonna keep it folded in half just like it was on the last one. And there's a couple ways that you can do this, whether you want it front facing or back facing. So what I really want, like a mini mini. So I'm going to fold this down. Again, just if you've got a plaid uh, scarf, you just always want to kind of line up your lines. So that gives me a really good mini in the front. Now, I am going to create this sort of like draped tail in the back, but it's really hard to do that from the back. So I'm going to pin it from the front and then I can decide if I want to wear it front facing or back facing and just once it's all pinned, flip it around. So basically, I'm gonna line it up. I'm going to take one of my pins as tight as I possibly can, and I'm gonna go up and down. I'm gonna do one more at the top just to make it extra tight. You do maybe two more just to make sure that it doesn't open. Obviously, you don't wanna show anything. All right. So now we've got a few options. One is wearing it just like this. It's a cute little mini in the back. I've got this pretty sort of draped front here. I can slide it. It'll take me a second because it's all tight. 
and the this part falls forward hiding the safety pin so that's really key is making sure that you pin it going up and down not side to side because then when it all falls forward everything gets hidden so then the other option is on the side on the hip right so i've got again a nice mini and i've got this sort of double ruffle or whatever on the side the last option is towards the back and so then you've got a short mini in the front with sort of this asymmetric tail in the back. Yeah, so pinning it that one way allows you three completely different ways to wear it, front, side, or back. Scarf is shedding onto my, mm. onto my shorts. <laughs> All right, you guys, uh, the last one is a dress. Now, if you have the square blanket scarf, this is actually gonna work better than the rectangular one, but because I've been using this one the whole time, I do wanna show you how to do it with this. So take it in its full length and center it on your back so you've got an equal amount on either side of your body. Now you're gonna crisscross it. One side goes under the other side and you're gonna pull it until the back feels tight. Now we're gonna tie it around our neck. I'm gonna flip my head just so I don't like end up tying my hair. And tie it. Now again, because this is the rectangular one, it's a little longer than I would want it to be here, but it's fine. Make sure that you've got full coverage on the underarm, that you're not like showing any boogular activity. Pull it down so you end up with a nice flattering line. You're gonna fold this underneath, which gives you coverage here, and fold this over. And now, you bounce. And here is your dress. It actually does look cute with a shirt underneath, um, which I think is surprising, but once I put it on, I was like, oh, I kinda like it like this, actually. All right, so you can see it's a dress. Now, the cool thing is just that simple, you know, taking the fabric, centering in your body, wrapping it and tying it is something you can do with scrap fabric that you buy. So it's a really great way to make a no-sew dress. Go to the fabric store, buy some cool fabric, wrap it, tie it, and belt it, and you've got like a great option. So even if you're not doing this with a scarf, it's still a really cool look. And um, again, a square scarf might be a little easier. It will be floor length, and you'll also end up with a little less kind of bulk at the top, but I don't mind it, super comfy. Okay, nice. so then we can do the close-up. All right, guys. Well, that is it. I think that was like 15 ways or something. So I hope that it was helpful to you. Uh, man, I wear it all the time and I get so many compliments, especially when I wear it like a skirt. So hopefully you guys will do the same. If you had any questions, comment those down below. I just wanted to take a minute and wish everybody a very happy new year. Man, it is 2020. I have so many goals. I have so many things I want to accomplish this year and I'm so stoked. I hope that you guys had a really beautiful holiday with your family. And, um, and I just also wanted to take a second and thank all of you. For those of you that have followed me over the past year and have supported me and watched these videos, thank you, thank you, thank you a thousand times. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate it. If you're brand new and this is your first video, then I hope you'll join the fam and subscribe. And if you do that, please do comment it down below so that I can thank you personally because each and every person that subscribes to the channel really does mean so much to me. Can't even tell you. So I got a great fashion DIY coming up next week. Hopefully you guys will tune in for that one and um, have a great week, man. I'll see you next week. Bye.